Okay, so today we want to be looking at integrating technology from a point of, point of view as an English language learner or ELL as it's fondly referred to. So there's three today, um, Michelle, myself and Fiona um, and we're going to take you through a presentation that hopefully should highlight some of the key features with technology integration to assist overseas learners who struggle with English. Okay, so first lay we're going to look at the topics. Uh, we've got the layout of the day. You can see there that uh, starts nice and early um, and then takes us through the different areas that need to be discussed um, before finishing up with a survey to um, identify the learning that's been achieved throughout the day. The rationale behind the, 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 the driving force uh, of this presentation is looking at integrating technology into an data enriched classroom, um, but looking at more areas than just basic computer skills. So you can see there we've, uh, we've highlighted the five main areas, active engagement, participating in groups, frequent interaction, feedback and connection to real world experts. Um, these are the five areas that we feel are quite important. Um, that, you know, allow for uh, access across the curriculum in all subjects, not, not just one. So what do these look like? Well, the relativity, relativity of it is it's easy access to technolo technological devices. Um, the proficiency is quite varied. A lot of the students have weak language skills. However, they do respond well to feedback and they are looking at family issues also. Um, that's the QLA students that we feel um, identifies that. When we look at the Western students, it seems to be a little, a little bit more um, focused on liberal views, um, proficiency, and access. Moving on, um, the intended audience that we see this uh, professional development being um, most applicable to is school teachers, um, including elective subjects, but also the students. Um, so it can be used uh, to support teacher development, um, subject delivery, but also student learning. Okay, so what does it look like? Well, throughout the year we've divided into four uh, to reflect the Qatar Leadership Academy um, timetable. You can see there from the initial training, um, then the development and recognition of successful implementation through the feedback sessions and then through into next summer um, updates and improvements being identified. Furthermore, there are three uh, technology integration strategies to choose from. Today we're going to um, highlight what could be done um, and we've taken those three strategies on. First one is looking at Prezi itself. Now you can see here that this uh, presentation is done on Prezi. Um, which can give you a clear uh, perspective and understanding of how the software can work. It communicates very well um, with the end user or the viewer um, and it allows certain barriers to be broken down uh, regardless of the ability of the English uh, learner or the ELL student. Second one we want to look at is something called Swivel. Uh, Swivel is a capturing video system um, that allows for um, the student to wear microphones uh, while being recorded uh, remotely to highlight um, their own standards um, and you can see here we've had an active engagement uh, participation in groups and frequent interaction. These are the three main ones that this system allows it to use and it's certainly something that we're going to look to develop at QLA next year. Then lastly is um, we're looking at creating our own YouTube channel um, this will give us access to various resources and the idea is that students can go to the, the, the school's resource website on YouTube uh, to access various materials um, and this allows students active engagement, frequent interaction, feedback and it also gives them a connection to the real world of experts. Um, you can see here that this is a YouTube channel um, and I will indeed be posting this presentation um, onto my own YouTube channel afterwards as an example. Um, then lastly we want to highlight the duration and the categories. Um, with differentiation, technology, PBIS, literacy and mental health. 
and we feel that the uh, professional development that we would deliver would certainly uh, cover all of these main areas and just to familiarize ourselves with that and to ensure that we do have a, 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 an excellent outcome we have um, our own uh, online survey monkey here which allows us to go through and choose um, but how we feel, whether it was we strongly agreed with the presentation. This obviously gives us um, clear feedback from both students, um, but also, as you can see here, the questions as I scroll down um, from the teachers also.